What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com. Um, if you saw my last video, you saw that I uh, mentioned I was going to be making videos that I thought would be helpful to people in more ways than just working out. Um, and this is uh, right up there at the top of those videos if you ask me. Um, essentially, this video is about uh, the type of people you want to have around you and the type of people you don't want to have around you. And um, my thoughts on people in general. Now, uh, this is probably going to get some backlash. Probably some people are going to disagree. It's going to hurt some people's egos. I've noticed that when I have this discussion with people, it hurts their egos sometimes. Um, but here goes. Um, essentially, the vast majority of people have no idea of their own potential whatsoever. And they're living in an artificial reality where everything is much harder than it actually is. And because of that, every single time that you try to rise up, um, that you believe in yourself, and you'll even, you'll even see it, when, when you believe in yourself, you'll want to like keep it to yourself. You won't even want to talk about your goals because you know that other people are going to look at you like, oh yeah, is that right? Because people, when they see you believing in yourself, it's very hard for them to accept that you may be more capable than them. And it's not even to say that you even are, but that's... People, people have an insecurity that they think, oh, you think you're better than me because you're, you, can, you, you believe you can accomplish this goal, but I don't, I don't think I can do it. So um, they will subconsciously or maybe even purposefully um, lower your uh, ambitions. Um, if you want to succeed in lifting weights, oh, I don't know, I, you know that's dangerous. You're going to get hurt. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to get hurt or um, you know, whatever it might be. I want to go to college. Oh yeah, well, this college is a you know a waste or whatever. Which that's a completely different video. I'm, I'm not even. Sometimes school is a waste. Um, but anyway, um, basically, a lot of people in your life are not worth having in your life. You are surrounded by these people. There are very few people who are going to truly be beneficial to you and not bring you down who are going to encourage you, who are going to want success for you, and who are not going to feel like less when you do succeed, but will just be happy for you. Um, I have had, and, and, and the, the thing that hurts people's egos is whenever I tell them that most likely all of your friends, most likely the majority of your friends are not at all what you think they are. People like to put a romantic, almost, idea on the people around them. Oh, this person loves me because they just, they just think the world of me. They would never do anything wrong to me. Well, why, why do you feel that way? Well, really what they're thinking is, it's, oh, I'm so great. How could they ever hurt me? I've done so much for this person. They could never do anything wrong to me. It's an ego thing. I have such good friends. I am cared about so much. I am so wonderful that people couldn't do anything bad to me. I'm just, we're just too close. We're just too close. Um, and when you tell people, I've, I've told people, they're, they're, me and my friends have been friends forever, I'm friends with this person, they'd never wrong me. I go, yeah? Okay, um, tell me their Facebook. I bet you I can get them to talk shit about you. I bet you I can get them to hate you. And, the, and their immediate reaction is, why would you do that? Why, why, would, you, why would you do that to me? What, what, what are you, like, weird? I'm like, well, why are you worried? It's, this is your close friend, they would never wrong you. How, how could a stranger ever instill a problem between you two over Facebook, because when it comes right down to it, um, I, I think people kind of know. Deep down in people's guts, they kind of know. But they love the romantic idea of how close they are with other people and how meaningful they are to their friends. Um, I've been there. I grew up with very few friends. And when I did make friends, I wanted to have a lot of friends, and I thought we were very good friends, and I wanted to be a very good friend to them, and I thought they were a very good friend to me. Because of that, I would do a, a decent amount of stuff for my friends. I would care about my friends very much. And um, throughout my life, that got me just fucked over and over and over again. I've, I've taken drug addicts into my house for months at a time after rehab when their own family wouldn't, just to have them completely turn on me. I've had business partners that I thought were my best friend that I did huge amounts of things for steal from me. I've had people who I supported through their divorce, through their divorce, people who I have fed when they didn't have food, literally not even be there for me when, when I actually needed my friends. Because deep down in their soul, they didn't like to see me do well because it reflected on them doing poorly. 
And I see that now, and I've, I've gotten that advice from people, and it, it never made sense to me. They're like, hey, you shouldn't say that your life is going really well. You shouldn't say good things about yourself because it'll make people want to bring you down. I'm like, what do you mean? Why would anyone want to bring me down? Well, that's because I grew up never having anything good to say about myself, about how things were going. So I had no idea that, that people would... It just didn't occur to me that people would be that way because I was always happy for other people. Seeing other people succeed made me want to succeed alongside them. But most people are not like that. Most people do not crave success because they've never been so low that they don't appreciate succeeding the same way that someone who's been so low does. I believe people that grow up being losers have the most potential to be successful because they appreciate success. They appreciate succeeding. Someone goes from being fat to fit. Someone goes from being anxiety riddled, can't talk to girls, to being a player. Someone goes from being super poor to super wealthy. There's so many cases of all these things. Why? Because they appreciate it. And then you have the general crowd, the, the typical, the normal, and they've learned a complacency. Um, and they've been told by all their other normal friends, etc., that what they can and, and can't do, and they all, they all agreed on the same thing. Life is hard. Um, success is hard. Standing out is hard. Um, getting anywhere is hard. Pretty much the best you can do is, is the rat race in, in all regards and, you know, get, uh, get drunk on the weekend and, and, try and, and try and enjoy your life. And that's what life is about. Life is, life is just the mundane, normal shit that everyone else is doing because that's what they were taught. That's what they grew up doing. They grew up like everyone else, trying to fit in. Um, it's the people who never fit in because they were so low that appreciate success. So the type of people that I recommend having around you, first of all, I recommend having the, the smartest people you can around you. Um, if you're going to be like the people you're around, which is the case, you want to be around highly intelligent people that give a fuck about being successful that are interested in understanding the world around them. No, I'm not saying they should be, you know, thinking about what's on the news all the fucking time, but we need to understand the reality around us to the best of our ability. And the reality is the world is not as shit as everyone makes it out to be. We can accomplish what we want to accomplish because we have the gift of trying and willpower. And no one can take that away from you. No one can stop you from taking a step. Maybe they'll block you, you step to the side. Maybe they fucking block you at the side and the front. You take a step back, reassess, take the next step wherever the fuck you gotta go. Maybe you gotta go all the way back and loop back the fuck around to get the fuck away from those people. And that's essentially what I'm saying is you have to get away from a lot of people. A lot of people are fucking poison. Poison. I keep as few people in my life as possible because the times I've had the most people in my life when I thought we were all close friends when I thought we were all good to each other I noticed that when you're down they are not there and you realize that those people are really only interested in feeding off your success or enjoying it when you fail most people don't want you to succeed because they're not succeeding and they don't want you to think that you can do shit they can't do. And they don't want you to think that you're better than them because it's an insult to them. Find friends that are intelligent, that are kicking ass, and that are as alone as you are in the world because they can't find people like you either. People wanting to succeed, people willing to not be complacent. Find them and lift each other up. Lift each other up. Be there for each other and help each other succeed. Because God knows the more people you have in your life, the more problems, and most people are not worth it. Relationships, 99% of the time, huge percentage of the time, will bring you down, not up. Friendships, huge amount of time, huge percentage of the time, will bring you down, not up. I'm not talking about acquaintances. I'm talking about friendships. When you let people in, you give them the power to hurt you, and you give them the power over you that you will want to help them. And whenever they don't reciprocate, you're going to be hurt. And you're going to be alone. And you're going to be sad. And then you're going to have to learn the lesson that I'm giving you right now. Because God knows, I've learned it. I have had best friends completely fuck me. I've had 
uh, girlfriends completely fuck me. I have had, I mean, I'm, I won't even, I won't even get into family stuff, but we need to recognize our potential and recognize that other people are trying to fuck us sometimes and get the fuck away from those people and find the people who feel the same way that we do if we want to kick ass and if we want to stand out. You don't want to be like most people, so you don't want to be around most people. Recognize your potential. Recognize what other people are. Go on the path that is best for you. As always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out MuscleMaskets.com. Peace.